Welcome back to BC Backcountry. On today's episode, we're doing some pike fishing up north, uh, about 450 kilometers north of uh, Prince George. On this trip, we had some extreme, extreme cold weather. We had 90 kilometer hour winds, coupled with minus 30 degrees Celsius temperatures, uh, made for minus 45 degree um, wind chill factors. We couldn't get our tents set up the first night we were there, it was so windy. So luckily for us, um, uh, there's a friend of ours who has a hut on the ice um, at Swan Lake and uh, we gave him a call and we borrowed that for the night. If it wasn't for that hut, we would have froze to death. We would have sat in the car and drank beers like babies, uh, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. On this trip is joining me, uh, Jeff Christensen, our fishing advisor, and Rob Moitre, a good friend of ours from Quinnell, who is the manager of the Sandman. So I hope you stay with us. Uh, I'm going to continue editing and... Um, I hope you like the show. Thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> Kneel down. Oh, sorry. Use the pike. Uh... Oh! <laughs> oh, it's right through his nose. Just yeah. give it a twist. Well, you dump my hair off and get this. Can't get that fucking nose now. Stop fucking stuck in his teeth. You gonna release him? Yeah, I think so, eh? Yeah. Put him in another hole, maybe. Isn't as hard as the one you had, eh? No. Come on. Fly nice soft release. Snot rocket. <laughs> a little, Watch this one. little snot rocket. <laughs> so, what were you using? I was using the uh, Storm Pike Minnow. Storm? Isn't that the Northland uh, <laughs> jig you have on there? Northland? No, it's not. I guess we'll have to write to storm. On your Markham? It's all right. Yay. I'd laugh at it. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, that'd be funny. Hey, look, I caught another pipe. Man, you're good. No. Oh. Well, I think one of the hooks popped off. He's got some weight on that boy. Can you see me? All of me? No. That's. Yeah, get down on your knees. I... Pray to the fish guy. Yeah, that's what he meant. Oh my <laughs> god. Be nice. He swallowed it again, eh? Just stick your hand under the gill. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so we started using these um, about an hour ago. Get close up there is a. You see that? It's um, basically a walleye look-alike. Although this lake has been winter killed from walleye about three years ago, um, I caught a tiny one this morning about this size and we thought maybe we'd give these a go. And uh, they have been producing very well. Um, the fish seem to be... Uh, yeah, they'll chase up to it, but then they'll sit there. They'll just sit and stare at it and stare at it. So we... Uh, I topped the hooks with uh, a couple maggots there just to give it a little smell pretties. And uh, yeah, well, I just saw one pike there, the one I just caught. He's, he must have watched it for about uh, three or four minutes and uh, didn't move on it. Finally, gave it a little jiggle and, and he took it. But this uh, last pike, I don't know if you can see this, he broke the hook right out. Like, there's 
broke the jig right out of it. And that's a pretty hefty jig in there. It's a pretty big pike. You'll see the pike later, but that, anyway, that pike, or that little walleye is ruined. But uh, that's what we're doing today. I'm pretty successful. While we were fishing at Swan Lake, uh, we were using it Northland jigs. We've used a, quite a few different kinds. Uh, we found that Northland is working the best. Um, our buckshot jig and the eyedropper jig. Um, the pike seemed to be really taking the buckshot. We were starting with um, the buckshot just for uh, just for perch, but it ended up being one of the better ones for pike. That and uh, one of the rubber lures for storm. But um, if you're going up there, make sure you get a few of these. Um, they're second to none. We caught twice as many fish as everybody there. Um, tight lines. As the perch moved around in the day, we found it necessary to make a couple moves on the lake. Um, not too big of moves, but just trying to stay on top of the perch. But uh, near the end of the day, we found a, a perch honey hole that we return to later. Uh, maybe it'll be on another episode. But uh, let's go back into some pipe or, uh, perch action. So should we say where we are? We're at beautiful Swan Lake. Yeah. Oh. All over, boys. Uh -huh. We're uh, finessing some perch right now, waiting for the pike bite later. Thought maybe we'd put a couple tofu carrot stick perch on the heist. But it seems that they're camera shy. <laughs> we catch 40 a minute until I turn this camera on. There's some pressure there. Okay. One there. Hammer them! Hammer them! Sound like Jason. You mean Terry? Am I lying? You get him? No. Jeez, I thought you were going to rip his lips off. <laughs> You don't catch one in a second, I'm gonna go videotape myself. Jesus, you're talking the talk here. The biggest ones we've caught so far are 10 inches. There he's got one on. There you go. He's gotta be at least four inches. Sweet. Well, let's have a look at him on the camera. Hold up. Get up into the sun there. Ah, I like to look at perch. They're cool looking, eh? Yeah. Let's sh colors. Show the orange on the bottom. They're pretty orange. That's nice. Oh, and they're prickly. Sweet. <laughs> 